Shalom, Shalom, Shalom to the hopefully elect of Israel. I want to start off and give all honors and infinite praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rekak Wadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who have taught us his truth and who rule well. Peace and safety and salutations out there to you sincere and you hopefully elect. Scattered abroad across the four winds of this earth. All right, I'm your fellow servant, Malakia. Okay, coming in with another lesson today. Uh, this lesson is going to be a quick, quick lesson, quick hitter. And, uh, you know, kind of this lesson is going to be going and telling and going into the second coming of our Lord, Yahweh Shai. Okay, and when he comes back to return, he's coming back to bring vengeance upon the earth. The scripture says that he's not going to meet uh, uh, thee as a man. He's not going to meet Esau. He's not going to meet uh, 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 any of these other different heathen nations. All right. He's not even going to uh, uh, even meet um, uh, the two thirds of the nation of Israel. OK, as a man, he's coming back with that fierce force. OK, that's coming back. All right. From the heavens. OK, he's getting ready to enter, you know, from one dimension into another dimension. He's coming. OK, into this place, as the scripture says, uh, enter into the house of the thief. I believe that's in, um, damn, man, it's been so long since I brought it up. I believe it's in, um, mm, is it Zechariah, Zechariah 5? Hold on, Salakia, Salakia. Let me see. House of Thief. I spelled it wrong. I spelled it wrong. Thief. Okay. That's what it was. Zechariah chapter 5. Oh, I'm in the same. Oh, oh. <laughs> verse 4. I'm going to get straight to the point. This is the book of Zechariah chapter 5. And uh, straight to the point, verse 4. It says, I will bring it forth, saith the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, of hosts. And it shall enter into the house of the thief. And into the house of him that sweareth falsely by my name, and it shall remain in the midst of his house, and shall consume it with the timber thereof and the stones thereof. You know, it's going into Yahweh Shai his second coming. You know, him entering into these uh, heavenly vehicles. All right, entering into one realm into another realm, and he's going to enter into this realm. Okay, this place of what uh, everyone calls uh, America. We're getting ready to see Yahweh Shai take over this whole earth. Him and his angels. Okay? And we're going to sit back and we're going to look at the show. Okay? Because it's going to be nothing but fireworks here. Okay? And uh, uh, Babylon the Great. All right? As we see ourselves, Lord willing, all right, to be of that number, to be uh, allotted for salvation. Okay? We're going to see Yahweh Shai, all right, his angels get busy with this place, man. We're going to see the destruction of this place, man. And we're going to see Yahweh Shai bring down all these kingdoms and these kings. Okay? So, um, start off the lesson. Just the book of Psalms, chapter 110. Get straight to the point. Starting at verse 5, it says, The Lord at thy right hand shall strike through kings in the day of his wrath. It says, The Lord stands in the NLT. It says, the Lord stands at your right hand to protect you. It says, he will strike down many kings when his anger erupts. The scripture says he's going to come back as what? As a travailing woman. All right. That that war cry. You know, Yahweh Shai is going to get busy when he returns back. And he's going to put every nation under subjection underneath him. You know, we read it in the book of uh, 2 Ezra, I believe it's chapter 13. It goes into... Uh, you know, when he returns back, all the different uh, nations, all right, to gather up, to go and try to uh, 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 fight against him, all right? The scripture says he neither lifted up, uh, 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 damn, what's that? He never lifted up um, sword, all right? Neither, neither, neither lifted up his hand nor sword, all right? Showing that what the power that he's coming back with is not going to be of this earth, man. It's coming from another realm. It's coming from the heavens. And this heaven, uh, uh, this heavenly, uh, 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 destruction that's getting ready to come is going to be like no other, man. Jumping down to verse 6, it says, He shall judge among the heathen. He shall fill the places with the dead bodies. He shall wound the heads over many countries, man. 
The scripture says we're going to get it next. The slain of the Lord shall be many, man. You know, as we see, you know, the people that walk around, you look at how many people on this earth. It's, it, hey, man, it's going to be just a, 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 a complete, utter destruction that we're getting ready to see when Yahweh Shai returns back. You know, I, it's, you know, it's only words can only explain. All right. But the actions are going to truly explain. OK, the reason behind this words. All right. He's going to put respect on his words, man. OK. He said, I would not be there as a man. We're going to see it, man. All right. So let me get straight to the point. It's the book of Isaiah 66. <clears throat> uh, Excuse me. <clears throat> mm. Let's get straight to the point. This is the book of Isaiah 66, verse 15 says, For behold, the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. You see, it's going to be destruction type of all type of laser beams, all type of different torches and different ways that you can hey, you can make some type of fire, man. It's going to be. It's going to be stuff that we ain't never seen before And we're going to see it It's, it's, it's going to play right in, in front of these people's faces They're going to see the destruction Many of them are going to be getting zapped Okay Many of them are going to be getting uh, uh, It's going to perish at the sight of seeing uh, uh, the ships return Okay Them remembering the prophet's words Of what was going to happen to them When Yahweh returns back uh, People just, just fainting Okay Because of just uh, 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 utter fear you know, and Yahweh Shai is going to come back, man. He ain't going to be doing no talking, no speaking. He ain't going to be bullshitting with nobody, man. Verse 16, for by fire and by his sword will the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai plead with all flesh and the slain of the Lord shall be many. Okay. When Yahweh Shai returns back, it's going to be utter destruction. It's going to be, uh, uh, catastrophic uh, deletions out here, man. And the people going to be screaming, crying, all right? Screaming and, and, and crying and, and, and asking, you know, you know, for, for, for help. Uh, what's that in, um? what's that, Proverbs 1? And it go into, uh, many of them are going to try to seek to call upon his name, but it, it, it's going to be too late, man. Let me get one more here in uh, Revelation going into our Lord's uh, second coming. I was saying what many people is going to faint <laughs> at the sight. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 7. It says, Behold, he coming with clouds. See, again, he coming in, in these heavenly vehicles. Okay? These vehicles. Okay, today, you know, the people would know, uh, uh, well, basically say they were as, uh, what, uh, the UAPs. Or they'll be like, oh, it's a UFO. It's, it's little green aliens in them. Nah, man. It's going to be uh, 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 angels, man. You know, they ain't not, not not the angels that you know how Esau portrayed the uh, angels to be. No, it's going they're gonna be it's gonna be a fearful sight, man. But Yahweh Shah is returning, man. You know, as we see the days returning back, much death, much deletion is coming. You know, it's coming uh, to the whole world, and this is what the prophets, all right, are, are, are proclaiming. You know, we're ushering in the second coming of our Lord, man. It says, Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him. You see, those, you know, who pierced him while he was on this earth, all right, those same people are going to be here on this earth when he returns, and they're going to see him. It says, And all the kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him, even so Amon. You know? Everybody's going to... Hey man, everybody gonna fucking mourn. People gonna be wailing, crying, scared, tearful, you know, dropping dead for being scared. Yeah, man, it's gonna be the biggest show of all lifetime that anybody can even think of. You know, seeing the salvation of the elect, you know, and also seeing, you know, the destruction, all right, right before their eyes, man. This is a little quick lesson going into, you know, Yahweh Shah's second coming. It ain't going to be no, oh, he's coming back with flowers and, 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 and with his arm wide open with hugs. No, nah, man, he's coming back to bring vengeance, man. All right, for what was going on, okay, the whole time while he was away. 
and how the uh, these heathens all right have uh, mistreated all right his people the Israelites all right and mainly the elect all right especially those who did believe on the names of Yahweh by Shem Shai they kept pushing they had they kept the faith and the whole world you know is getting to the point to where they're getting ready to uh, uh, turn their backs okay upon those who truly believe on the Lord and they got to get recompensed for that and so that shows that way he's gonna come back okay in a fierce okay fierce spirit all right it's not the scripture says that who uh, uh yahweh okay is a man of war you don't think that his son is coming back in that same likeness you know the scripture says woe unto you that desire the day of the lord what shall be the end all right for you you see many people don't understand they don't understand and they're not going to expect okay the great utter deletion that's getting ready to come their way okay so the, the thing is, the best thing to do is what? To get on the right side, to get on the good side with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. The scripture says, kiss the son, lest he be angry. And you don't want to be around the point of when Yahweh Shai is angry, man, because he's coming in the same fierceness, all right, as his father, man. Okay? So, hey, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying to you, Akim, Wa Agwa. I want to give all honors and infinite praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Hashem Rakak Wadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who have taught us this truth and who rule well. Peace and safety and salutations that to you, to you sincere and you hope for your elect. Scattered abroad across the four winds of this earth. I'm your fellow servant, Malakia. Shalom.